Hey guys, it's your boy, Johnny Sunshine. The fucking hole I'm in just keeps getting deeper and deeper, man. Look at my fucking hair, dude. Son of a bitch. That ain't good, man. Anyways, so this lightning strike. I'm sitting on my toilet, guys. Nice one piece, fucking American standard. This is my shower. Couple of body sprays, keeping it simple, chrome. But look what I got. The fan on my air conditioning, uh, air handler in my house got hit by lightning. I paid a, I called an air conditioning company. They came out, and of course the guy wanted to sell me a a fucking new unit because it's old, and I get that. But it was working fine. It was keeping my house cool. It was doing what it was supposed to do. You know, so I just need to fix it, man. And he's like, well, this motor's going to cost $1,200 just for the motor. Never mind, you know, blah, 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 and I need to come back. And, you know, I don't, he, he wasn't, it's just how things are, you know what I mean? It's, that's the bottom line. So I call up Gorman, my HVAC supply house, and I get, instead of having this ECM motor, I'm going to put a three-quarter horsepower, just a regular motor with a fucking capacitor on it. And I got everything for $227, the capacitor, the motor. Uh, I took this thing out by myself, first time I ever did it. The only thing I really had to disconnect <coughs> was L1, L2. And two uh, thermostat wires that were connected to the board up here on the top. Uh, but other than that, it wasn't an issue. I got it right out. He was saying we got it, you know, because of where the rebar, uh, I mean the all thread was, it was going to be a pain. He needed two or three guys to do this and blah, blah, blah. I got about an hour and a half into this thing. I've got the, the fucking, uh, I just dropped the, I just dropped the fucking, uh, all thread rod, and yeah, this thing's beat up, man, but it's keeping my house cool, and between the $4,500 to cut the tree down, and the fucking eight to ten, twelve thousand dollars for a new air conditioning system, look at how small that is, that hole. For this big ass fucking return. What's up with that, man? I guess that's normal. I mean, it does cool my house. There's no issue with that. So, uh, anyways, now I'm gonna try to. I got this thing out of here, got it down. Uh, I may have to, once I get it back in the hole, <coughs> I may have to have somebody come wire it. He told me how to do it. Like I said, I have the two parts that I need to put in. One is this uh, capacitor right here. It's actually a 20 uh, microfarad. And then this, uh, this guy here. Which is how you switch it over from a, a controller I need to put this in here for the low voltage and it'll continue you know that one leg on the uh, I don't know L1 or L2 I don't know what the fuck it is but I'm gonna get everything installed I'm gonna get this thing mounted uh, I'll get the, the bracket the whole fan assembly back in uh, and then I'm going to I'm going to try to get this uh somebody to just come wire it. It's going to be I mean literally it's going to be a matter of just plugging in uh like four wires, man. And they've already got the ends on them. I got a 3 quarter uh horsepower motor. Uh my next job get this uh I took the controller off this thing and I'm not I'm not convinced that the motor's even bad, man. 
I wanted to hook this whole thing up up there without putting it in this box and putting the box back in I just wanted to do a bench test hook this thing up and leave it on the floor up there or, or screw it to a board or something and turn the fucking air conditioning on and see if the damn thing spins uh, before I go through all the trouble of doing this and this isn't the issue you know I mean these are the kind of things where they say you need three thousand dollars worth of work and you only need fucking two hundred dollars and they put all this shit in and then they change the part out without you knowing that you uh, you need it you know a cheap part so I just want to make sure this motherfucker is gonna work man last night was not fun I could have slept at my nephew's on the couch uh, but I, I fucking stuck it out. I slept in my house last night. It was probably 80 degrees. I had a fan blowing, circulating air. And I got a big fan right here that I've been blowing through the house. And I have all the ceiling fans on. Uh, keeping the doors closed. Not, not leaving them open so that moisture can get in here. Uh, but it's uh, when it rains, it pours, guys. I mean, be between... You know, the air conditioning in the other fucking unit, the the motor on my, the air, con the compressor out here, uh, the, my truck needing work. I mean, Jesus Christ, it adds up to like 40,000 fucking dollars in the last six months if I were to pay somebody to do that shit. Uh, I just don't have that money, man. I'm in a, I'm in a, a bind, man. I mean, I'm being honest with you. You get dope, diagnosed with fucking cancer, it fucks up your finances, guys. There's no, no way around it. And you're fucking incapacitated. Uh, but I'm getting through, man. You know, I'm doing what I have to do. I'm not a quitter. I'm a fighter. And I'll get this motherfucker in tonight. It may not get wired. And I may sleep you know, in the swimming pool. Just put a big ass float around my fucking head and stay in the pool all night. But uh, yeah, it's all good, man. I mean, for the first time I ever did this, I think it's pretty good that I was able to get this thing out. I took pictures of everything, the things that I disconnected. I taped them all together so that I know what, what needs to go where and I can refer back to these pictures. Uh, I just looked at my, uh, my YouTube account, which I haven't really done anything in like four or five days. Uh, I just needed a break. I had, my girlfriend was here and she's going through a lot of shit too. And everybody is, man. It's just a bad time in the whole fucking world, to be honest with you. So, you do the best you can. Some of these creature comforts uh, end up being a big fucking liability, man. You know? Uh, I've been here for 23 years. Shit's gonna stop the break. And uh, it is what it is. But I was happy to see that I got a lot of <coughs> a lot of comments. A lot of people checking that video out that I posted about the lightning strike. Uh, I'm not gonna sweat that tree right now. I mean, it needs to come down. No doubt. Especially if it rains again and shit gets wet and heavy. That thing could snap, and I need to have a professional do it. This guy that I got a price from, uh, he's got all the fucking equipment and a goddamn boatload of fucking uh, hard-working Mexican guys that will tear that tree up and make it disappear in a couple of fucking hours, man. He's got the he's got all kinds of trailers, uh, clams. Everything you need, two bucket trucks to get up there, and uh, with so much at risk, you know, the fact that it's a damaged tree, it doesn't have any structural integrity, at least I'm going to assume it doesn't have that. Uh, I'm going to pay somebody to get that motherfucker out of my yard, and uh, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is, but... Um, it's hot, it's humid, uh, but Johnny's gonna keep on, Jackson. Johnny's gonna keep on, man. Keep on keeping on.
Yeah, y'all. Uh, so anyways, let me try to get this goddamn motor and fan off. I'm, I'm not sure about this. How this thing works. How I get that out. Uh, I may want to look at a video or something. Maybe Steve will have taking them things out of Walt Washington. Yeah. Uh, Mikey Pipes, you know. In the mean between him bitching about Joe Biden. Maybe he could show us how to fucking do something. You know, Mikey? If you ain't testing, you're guessing. Well, I'm guessing you need to show some motherfucking them hands working, boy. You hear me? I need some hip. <laughs> this is Johnny coming from the fucking master bath throne. Uh, all right, guys. Let me get back to work, Jackson. It's almost 6 o'clock, man. And the fun has only just begun. All right, guys. So... I got that motor out. The fan is still in there. I'm gonna see if I can get it out of there because I really want to clean it. Uh, one of my subscribers called me today and uh, he's an air conditioning guy and he told me he's out of Philadelphia, real cool guy. Uh, and he told me, you know, if you get that thing out, uh, you might want to clean that because they get pretty nasty. So if I can just pull this out, I've got that that one side uh, a couple screws taken out And I think I'll be able to get that thing out of there uh, Obviously making sure I don't damage the heat strips in there and then uh, I'm gonna run a cleaning brush through through that fan uh, where the shaft goes and then install this new motor and uh, You know hope for the fucking best guys, and then I'll slide it back in the hole with all the wires pulled out See if I can't get somebody to come hook them motherfuckers up for me for a hundred bucks I'd do it. I'd do it for a friend my guy across the street, he's an air conditioning guy. He might do it for me. Uh, anyways, all right. We're making progress. All right, guys. So I got this uh, fan installed. The motor is installed. Everything's tightened up. The fan spins freely doesn't make any noise I think it spins freely I don't know how much that's supposed to spin it's not rubbing on anything uh, so I needed a capacitor which I've mounted I've got two brown wires here that I believe go to the capacitor I've got the rest of the wires going through a grommeted hole uh, that need to be hooked up to this guy, this little guy right here, and a couple other connections. But I'm ready to put this thing back in the hole. I don't know if all of this shit can be removed or just leave it there. Uh, hopefully we can just leave it. But I'm going to get this thing back in the hole, get it installed, and I'm going to call the guy and see if he can just tell me how to hook these wires up, and I should be cooling here shortly. The only thing is I need to make sure that this fan is rotating properly, and uh, if, that's, if it's not, uh, it's not an issue. It's just a matter of switching a couple of wires to reverse that. Uh, I did take pictures of the thermostat wires and where they go, uh, so I should be able to get this whole thing hooked up and then give this guy a call and just maybe I'll have some air conditioning tonight. It's about 6.30. I started this at 4 o'clock, uh, thereabouts, and, uh, 
I'm gonna throw this guy back in the hole. Only two screws hold it in, so it's not a big deal. And, uh... Oh, my battery died on my fucking Milwaukee light. Imagine that. Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. You kidding me? Hey, guys. Jenny Sunshine here. It's, uh... It's about 8.30, and uh, I got my air on, man. I pulled that motherfucker and blow her out. Uh, I do need a new system, there's no doubt about that. And I will get it as soon as I'm in a position. Uh, but like I said, I everything costs thousands and thousands of fucking dollars now, man. And uh, so Johnny's got to do a lot of the shit himself. Uh with the help of some very generous people uh this guy i just met him today man and he walked me through wiring this thing and uh it was pretty easy it didn't take long i mean it took longer for him to make sure i did you know we checked it double checked it and uh i threw the switch and that shit came on man so it's cooling uh, like I said, it's about 8.30. I've got this thing all back together up here. But it's back together. And uh, Johnny's going to sleep good tonight. It's going to take a few hours for this place to cool off. But I need to clean up. My little sweetie's been calling me a hundred fucking times. And I just can't answer the phone when I'm working, man. Anyways, it's hot as fuck in here. 90 something degrees. 92. Let's go see. Terrible. It's a terrible thing, man. It's good to hear that old rattle trap rattling up there again. I can tell you that, man. Whew. Yeah. Oh, it's 80. 83 degrees. And I've got this thing set at like 74. And we'll see how long it takes to uh, to get down. You can't see that. But it's 83 degrees in here. It's definitely cooling. Uh, there was no damage to the outside unit. Uh, this feels fucking wonderful. So as bad as things are, uh, you just have to... In, in uh, order, deal... Do what you can, fix what you can, and uh, that's all you can do, man. Sometimes you get fucking blown over with shit to do, or get hit by lightning. What the fuck are the chances of that? Uh, this guy's calling me, the tree guy. His price was high, and I don't, I don't like the way he wants to do it with a big-ass crane. I like these other guys. I've used them in the past, and uh, I'm going to stick with them. Anyways. Guys, thanks for watching. Another day of Johnny, the, the trials and tribulations of Johnny Phillips. Uh, a man struggling. But I, uh, you got to do the best you can, guys. That's all. Don't give up. Don't go out without a fucking fight. That's all I can tell you. Keep fighting, man. Even if you're getting your ass whooped.